kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video series on Android app development. And so, guys, from now onwards, I will be teaching you on how to use the FFmpeg library in Android Studio. Alright, guys. So it will be our first module, and I in this module I will teach you how to trim the video or how to cut the video, and we will try to trim it using FFmpeg library in Android Studio. Okay. So first of all, the the user will be able to pick the video, and after that we will uh, trim it uh, using the range seek bar, and then we can trim it using the FFmpeg library. So guys, in this video, first of all, I will uh, show you a demo of how the app will look like at the end of this uh, video series. And okay, so guys, this module will have uh, four or five parts. So let's get started. Okay, guys. So as I already have this project, and I I also have installed the app. So let me first of all show you the demo. So here I will click on this app, and now the app is open. And there you can see I have a button for picking up the videos from the gallery. So if the user clicks on this, so here we can click on pick video, and from there we can simply pick a video and now the uh, video is played in this uh, video view and here I have the button of play and pause all right so here we have this uh, range seek bar and here you can see this is zero seconds and this is the maximum uh, duration of the video 16 duration a second video so let's say if i want to trim it for the first 7 seconds and then i will click on trim and here i can name the video as let's say harun and i will click on submit and there you can see that uh, it the service is started and i have used the live data in this app and here you can see the uh, the video is trimmed successfully and where it will be stored so it will let me show you the directory on which the video is stored so here you we will go to my files then we will go to internal storage and at the end of this we will be able to see let me show you and this is the folder and here you are able to see and if i click on let's open the video and okay so here you, it, it is saying that it cannot play the video using this software which i am using sidesync but it the video is there all right so let's get started okay guys so as i so i already have created the project inside this so my android version is 2.3.3 all right so here let me first of all set it and let me first of all try to change from the constant layout to relative layout and then let me just remove that and after that what we are going to do is we will have only a button that will pick a video so here i Mm, let me set the text to pick video and let me show you the preview and from inside this main activity we are going to have a method public void open video and in this method we are going to uh, write intent i equal to new intent and here we can say intent dot action pick then we can say media store dot 
images dot media dot okay so first of all here we will yes add it to the import then we can say media dot external content uri and then we can simply say i dot set type and the type will be video of any type then we can say start activity for result and here we can pass our intent and we can pass any value let's say 100 all right so here we can now override a method on activity result and here we can check if request code okay so in the meanwhile let me close this project because i don't need it now so here i have so here we can check if the request code is equal to 100 and result okay and result code equal to result okay then inside that first of all we need the uri so here we will say selected uri and inside that we can say selected uri equal to data dot get data and after that we now need to create another activity that will be trim activity so here we can create a new activity and let's name it as trim activity and click on finish all right so <laughs> here we will uh, intent to we will use the intent to open the this activity and we will send this uri to this next activity so here we can say intent i equal to new intent and inside that we can say man activity dot this and trim activity dot class and here we can start this activity and before that we want to send this uri so here we can say uri and selected uri dot to string all right so now we want to receive this selected uh, uri i mean this uri so here we what we will do in this stream activity is let me show you yes okay so here we can say intent i equal to get intent and here we can check if i is not equal to null then what we can do is we can get this image path equal to intent or we can say i dot get string extra and here we can pass this uri and then let me have this uri again then here we can say uri equal to uri uri dot parse and we can pass this image path so be, so we have uh, converted from string to uri again all right so now uh, we will start working for our trim activity but I think that is enough for uh, today and we will try to uh, okay so as you know that uh, okay so let me first of all give you the recap of what we have done is we have created this main activity and inside this activity we have created a button on button click we have used the intent to the uh, the video from the gallery and then we receive the uri of the video of this video and then we send this video to the stream activity and in this stream activity we receive the uri of this video all right but 
as uh, okay so i have uh, forgotten here inside this android manifest we need to add some user permissions for the gallery uh, so here we can say user permission write external storage then we also need the read external storage permission all right so i think these two are enough for this app so okay so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye